But what about a week Saturday? All right, our next guest is here to talk about that. Do you mind introducing him, please? Absolutely not. Here I go. Joining us now is the BBC's top arts boffin. He brings the arts to life with his engaging, his <laughs> blushing, inclusive manner whenever he's on our screens or coming through the speakers. And he is here now to motivate us about museums, amongst other things. Good morning, Will Gompert. <laughs> Good morning. Nice to be yeah. here. Thanks for having me along. He looks like a cool dude, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Well, he's, quite, he's quite calm. You look like a cross between them. Um, oh, here we go. Here Ar- we go. Arthur Miller and John Cleese. How about that? I normally get Bill Nye. Bill Nye's oh, yeah, ugly younger brother. Yeah, well, there is a bit of that. Stack yeah. that one. Stack that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm going for Arthur Miller. Uh, so, museums at night. Yes. Next Saturday is the big day. What's happening leading up to that? What happens on the night itself? The highlights for us, Will? The night is, is a fantastic thing. You know we have these amazing museums throughout the country, the best in the world. There was a thing in the Times newspaper today saying that 33 million people visited the UK last year. A record. They spent £21 billion. And the reason... The majority of the reason is to come to see our wonderful museums throughout the country. And the Museums at Night, which goes from next Thursday till next Saturday, is a celebration of these fantastic places. But a, a kind of sort of taking their suit off and it's putting your jeans and your T-shirt on. You're going out, you're having fun. You are. It's just much more relaxed, much more amusing. You've got uh, Grayson Perry in Yorkshire at the Yorkshire Museum doing hide and seek. I don't know how he's going to hide, frankly, in his dress, but there you go. He'll be, he'll be found very, very quickly. Spencer Tunick is down in Folkestone. You know, Spencer Tunick is this artist who takes photographs of people en masse naked. So Chris and Richard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll yeah. be down yeah. there. Before yeah. I'll do it yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Nothing I, to see here. I was young and I did <laughs> Yes, no surprises, no shocks. <laughs> and then I'm going to be up in Scotland, the Museum of Scotland, um, hosting a show for the BBC, B- the first BBC Arts At show, um, where we will be doing all sorts of nonsense. We've got uh, opera singers just going to appear out of nowhere. We're going to have. Uh, it's going to. You know, have you ever seen the movie um, uh, muse- uh, Museum? Night of the Museum. Night of the yeah. Museum. It's just going to be. Exactly like that, but live television. Okay, now here's the thing: did the idea come from that movie, or or, or what? Where, where did? Because it's a you know great. T- it's one of those ideas that just works instantly, isn't it? It came from France. Those French came up with it well, first. Yeah, can't can you, have everything. Can you? I know. Can you believe it? We nicked a French idea, a bit like Concord, I suppose. And uh, yes, yeah, so it came from France, and it's been going here for six years. Hun- you know, tens and tens of thousands. I think something like just under two hundred thousand people went out across these museums across the country and had fun last year. I think it'll be much more this year. Okay, and leading up to the event, how can people get involved? How can they find out more? Go to the Culture Twenty Four website. So t- type in Culture Twenty Four Co dot UK or Culture Twenty Four Museums at Night into your browser. And it comes up and it's got everything that's going on throughout the country and there are hundreds of events. And it's often the case uh, with our parks as well as our museums and lots of uh, the things that we should all go and see. Foreigners, tourists, yeah. attend them more than we do. We've got to sort that out. We've got to redress the balance, haven't we? Do you think so, Chris? I mean, I quite like the tourists coming. I, do you not just think it's great that you walk around nowadays and you're never quite sure what language somebody's no, going to no, speak I, to you? No, and I, I love all that. No, I didn't mean stopping the tourists. I know. I, no, what I meant was... Put, £21 billion. Uh, pounds. They, do, they do more of it than we do in our own country, so we should, we should do we more. Should, that's yeah, what I meant. the great thing is, as soon as we go abroad, what's the first thing we exactly, do? Exactly. You go to the Castle <laughs> Museum go, or wherever exactly, else you Exactly. crazy? And then on our doorsteps, a National Museum... What's that about? Why do we do that? I don't know. I think we just become so. We'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. It's yeah. the Manana thing, isn't it? Well, I just yeah, maybe it's a Manana thing. Maybe we just, you, just, you know, yeah, it's just on our doorstep. Why should we bother? You know, people don't talk to their neighbours anymore. But it is amazing that you can walk into the National Gallery and you can see Goya's and Velázquez and all this sort of the amazing paint, the best painting in, in the, the world. world. And you don't in pay a penny. World. You don't pay a penny. The dinosaurs. I love the dinosaur. The What's yeah. wrong with us? And it's all there, free of charge. It's it is pretty crazy. amazing. Let's go now. Yeah, oh, no, maybe later. You see, instead of riding your kids round on the motorbike in the... Oh, all right, listen, you you've got to spread the guests in You should do your show from the V&A, Chris. I should, I should. <laughs> but it has to be very quiet, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point. Here we are, it's not gonna from work. the v and It's not going to work, Chris. Okay, uh, okay, Mr Museums with us this morning, Will uh, Gompert. Uh, tell us about diverse museums. Tempt us with some diverse museums in Great Britain. Oh, there's some fantastic... There's, uh, so we know all about the big, famous national museums, but there's a museum of pencils. There's a museum There's a museum of witchcraft in Boscastle. Ooh. There's a museum of gas, Richard. Can you imagine that? Why gas? Do look, what, why do you look at me? Well, because <laughs> I just I think gas, I think cars, I think oh, you're gotcha. talking, actually. Wait, yeah, there it is. And, thank, and, you. And, thank you, Will. Thank that's, you. that's in Fakenham. And there's another thing happening. I think there's a, sort of a, a cultural trend of people making museums out their own front rooms so I live in Oxford and we have this thing called Art Weeks Mm. and in Art Weeks you can just go around to anybody's house, get a 
glass of cheap plonk if they're in and they'll show you the art in their front room and if you want to you can buy some of it and I think that is genuinely something which is changing so we have all these big huge museums which are great which are full of tourists as you rightly say Chris but I think the, 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 the opposite to that is people want sort of smaller more bespoke museums yeah. so whether it's a museum of gas or witchcraft or pencils or your own house I think people should turn their own houses into museums toy museums who doesn't want to go to a toy museum yeah. I don't get that at yeah. all